Odin Sword is a name given to several Asgardian weapons that are owned by Odin. However, one version, known as the Oversword of Asgard, is one of Asgard's special weapons that was said when unsheathed, the end of the universe was at hand. The sword was so powerful that only Odin himself could effortlessly return it to its sheath if it were even partially removed. One story on the origin of this weapon was that it was created from a cursed Nibelung ring of gold that was prophesied to bring about the end of Asgard. With how powerful the ring was, there came a great desire to come in possession of it. Many lost their lives in pursuit of it, including a mortal incarnation of Thor due to Odin's lust for the ring. After the revival of Thor, Odin was disgusted with what he had done and felt that he needed to atone for putting his greed above the safety of Asgard. He split the ring into two and used them as bands to hang himself on Yggdrasil, the world tree that connects the nine worlds. While upon the tree, he received visions of the Celestials who had been performing experiments on Earth's inhabitants. The Celestials made it clear that they would see retribution for any attacks to hinder their work. After freeing himself, he reshaped the ring, transforming it into a gigantic sword more than 10 yards long. It would be known as the Oversword of Asgard, a weapon of last resort to fend off these Celestials, as Odin knew that the Oversword would inherit the curse and threaten to inflict Ragnarok, which would end Asgard. Eventually, these Celestials did come, and in order to combat them, the essences of the people of Asgard were absorbed into the Destroyer, a suit of armor that is not worn, but rather a life force can be projected into the armor to animate it. With the people of Asgard save Thor, it was now ready to wield such a weapon as the Oversword of Asgard. The Destroyer began to fight off the fleet of Celestials and even slashed off the arm of one of them. His arm fell to the ground, which instantly put a smile on Odin's face. What he didn't know was that the loss of the limb was insignificant to him as he began regenerating his arm back to its normal state. The destroyer took a step back and began to calculate what his next move would be. He began to fight off his foes, but he was no match for a group of celestials and eventually fell to their power. Thor came to help the fallen destroyer and gave all that he could. Thor rushed to the oversword that had been dropped and with all of his might, he threw it at one of the celestials, launching it right into their chest. Almost unaffected by the blow, the Celestial drew the sword from his chest and began to melt the sword with his own hand. Luckily, Mother Earth showed up to stop the conflict before it got too far out of hand. Another and far more successful time the Odin Sword was used was when Kol Borson, the brother of Odin, was freed from an ancient prison by Red Skull's daughter, who was deemed worthy of the Hammer of Skadi, and then was transformed into a whole new being, taking on the name of the Hammer, Skadi. After Cole was freed from his prison, he appeared on a floating piece of Dark Asgard, which is just a darker, hell-like version of Asgard. He asserted his dominance amongst people on Earth, beckoning them to bow down and worship him and plead for mercy. His end of the world speech was cut short, however, when Spider-Man and a group of the Avengers started to fight off Cole and Scotty. Captain America got the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Cole and threw his iconic shield, which was caught and shattered in Cole's hands leaving Cap without his most versatile weapon. The Avengers were just no match for this Asgardian powerhouse, and were forced to retreat to Asgard to have Odin heal Thor, as they began to regroup and make another attack. While Odin healed Thor, he explained the truth about his brother. Due to ancient rules, he was unable to kill him, so he had locked him away to contain him. Because of these rules, Thor would have to face Kull. To give Thor some help, his father gave him the same armor that he wore when he cast his own brother out. Odin presented Thor with the Odin Sword and revealed the true name of the weapon to be Ragnarok, the blade forged to end all things. It was the only weapon that could defeat his brother, and it was now time for Thor to live up to his expectations. Back in fallen Asgard, Kull and his band of possessed hosts appeared to kill everyone who dared stop them from their quest to kill Odin. Kull proceeded to transform into a massive serpent. It was now time to see Thor and Kull's destiny come to light. The Serpent and Thor began their epic battle as Thor threw his trusty hammer Mjolnir at him, just to be countered by a blast from the Serpent. He was then constricted by the Serpent's tail, and just as it seemed that he was doomed to destruction, he retaliated by stabbing its tail to be free from its grasp. Thor began to get the upper hand, and in desperation, the Serpent pleaded with Thor that this didn't need to be their ending, and wondered why he would fight and die for a world that wouldn't honor him. Thor knew that it was his time to fulfill his prophecy in order to stop his uncle from destruction, but at the cost of his own life. He then shoved the mighty sword into its head as the two spiraled down to the ground, taking their lives. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate the support on our videos here at Hero History. 
so if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or a comment on the video, and subscribe for more like it. Thanks again, and as always, have a marvelous day.